the first and most important question is how many miles did you walk during the making of this movie? <laughs> I mean, you are walking basically 80% of the movie. Oh my God. What's that song? It's like making my way downtown. Oh, it's like, and, and I walk a thousand miles if I could just yeah. see you. I honestly felt like we walked a thousand yeah. miles. <laughs> like, it was, a, yeah, definitely got my steps in. Yeah, the step I, counter was up on the Yeah, apple. absolutely. I definitely, I definitely weighed a lot more at the beginning <laughs> of the film. And at the end, I lost all my weight. Yeah. Um, no, you know, it's, it's, it's a walking and talking film and something... What I love about the film is it is it's, it's kind of like the everyday, isn't it? And you know, you do you, you you go for a stroll, and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we've walked so so, so far, long because yeah. time kind of goes ahead of you. And hopefully, that's how, how the film the film moves. You know, it, it captures you off guard, and before you know it, you're falling in love. Um, yeah. Yes. Joking aside, I love the movie. Your yeah. characters are so authentic, and you have a great chemistry on screen. But as actors, when you read the script, what attracted you to the story? Yeah, I think I loved the script. I found it hilarious. I checked out some of Rain's work when I saw that she was attached, and Rain is an incredible world builder. She is able to just create worlds out of nothing. And I thought I was really excited at the prospect of working with her. Yaz as a character, she's so whimsical and impulsive and curious and like her energy is quite frantic. It's a bit different from, it's quite a bit different from me. Um, so that challenge, I guess, to bring someone to life who I didn't quite understand, but empathized with and was endeared towards. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, uh, like Vivian said, it, it was, it is a great script. It's very, very funny and um, definitely, you know, amazing. But I think he, for me, uh, uh, you know, it was different to the scripts that I was getting through at the time. And I really want to stretch myself as an actor. Like I feel like I'm still learning <laughs> um, um, and to do something very different from your life last role is kind of like the biggest gift so uh, this romantic comedy set in South London felt very very different to anything that I'd done uh, to the point that it's almost scary so I'm like well let, if I'm scared by it I should probably do it you know um, so yeah. What can you tell me about the production what was the atmosphere on set like and how much space was there to improvise? The atmosphere on set was incredible, incredible. honestly the cast and the crew were just so full of love, so full of joy. Everyone was such a genius when it came to their contribution, poured so much of their heart into it. But we also just got along and like yeah. had a laugh and the atmosphere on set didn't feel like work. It felt like a family outing and, you know, there were ups and downs, but we were just all in it together, pouring so much of ourselves into this film. And because we all knew the world so well, especially us, Rain gave us a lot of, space to improvise and just to play which you need with especially a character like Yaz who's so curious about the world around her. I need to just be able to pull from my immediate surroundings and Peckham gives you a lot so that was a blessing. Absolutely you know the undercurrent of love and just like enjoying what we're doing like you know we have the best job in the world in a way just to be able to like mess around so <laughs> enjoying that and then also like going right how how can we break this genre how can we make it something the same but different um that was amazing and we had total license to do that yes as a unique way of categorizing people people who have it both and people who don't yes. what's your way of categorizing people i mean do you have one Look, look, I try not, I try not to, because right? <laughs> everyone has their own thing. But I, I mean, I, I, I but in, in one way, I really like Yaz's categorization yeah. of people who wave, because it's, it's like super deep, isn't yeah. it? You know, like the openness to wave or risk. And I think that's what I like about these two characters. Dom has a really good sense of like being really emotional and like going for it and doesn't hold back. I think we do that in life. Sometimes we hold back from like our emotions or how we feel and like, nah, life is too short. You should just go the whole hog. So yeah. that's a great quote. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yes. She snapped with that one. She definitely got it right. <laughs> What's your best memory of your time on set? Choose one. There's so many. Yeah. there's a um, lot. I'm going to say, I'm going to say my best memory was, the mornings when, I, when me and Viv would go and get some coffee together, um, that was, you know, really, really great. We went to this lovely little spot called Larry's and we'd just grab a coffee from there. And we went on a, on a we'd go on a quest because I like coffee and I like 
nice simple coffee but Viv likes chai, chai lattes. lattes and I'm very specific but I want it to taste yeah. and I had a little Goldilocks and the three bears moment going around trying to find the perfect um, chai latte and David was very gracious <laughs> accompanying me on my mission and um, you know yeah. I didn't find it we didn't find it but I had a lot of fun looking for it uh, so. she's got a good taste that's the point you know there was great chai lattes I'm just a brat but... and I don't like things <laughs> <laughs> underdeveloped taste buds but I'm trying <laughs> 